Hey there LinkedIn, today I want to rant about units of measure. Now I'm tracking certain goals for a certain milestone birthday that may or may not be coming up in a couple of years time. And every single day when I wake up in the morning, I track how many days I have left until that date. And it's, you know, six, 700 days or something. Now me tracking the number of days, even though that number is large, six to 700 days or so, that's far more compelling than 18 months or two years or whatever the actual figure would be, or one year, two year, whatever. It makes it real for me because it's brought it down to a granular level. So my rant today is with your clients and potential clients, think about the numbers you're communicating with them. Now it's not always the smallest or the biggest number that's gonna have the biggest impact per se, often that is the case, but think about the implication behind that number. If you're talking about time scales, is it more important to talk about minutes and seconds or days and hours? And if you're talking about money, are you talking about pounds and pence or tens of thousands of pounds? So think today about the numbers that you communicate in your offering. Do they have to be the biggest? Do they have to be the smallest? What's gonna be the most meaningful for your potential clients? Because every day when I wake up and I have a look at how many days I've got left until I hit that milestone birthday, it makes it very real for me and I can really feel the pressure and the clock is ticking. If I measured it in months and the, the number of the months didn't change for you know, every four weeks, it's less compelling. That's my wrap for today. Take care, LinkedIn.